All right, welcome back, guys. Today, I'm back out at my little testing field where I did my first flight, uh, first impressions with the DJI Vada 2. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the motion controller three and try to get a little practice in and see if I can get a little bit better with it. I wanna give it a fair shake before I write it off. So that's what we're gonna do today. I do got my, uh, my carbon quad. I got the Air 3, always keep that with me. And I got the Avada 2 right here. And I, I got some uh, Start RC ND filters, which as of right now, I cannot complain. They're, they're very, uh, very good quality, it seems to be. So I'm gonna use those for now. And uh, hopefully we get some good motion blur. But uh, I'm no expert, so uh, I probably have to tweak, tweak with that a little bit, but stay tuned and uh, we're going to do some more testing with the Motion Controller 3. Alright guys, welcome back. Uh, we got everything all set up here. We got the Motion Controller 3 out, as you can see. With This is a... Uh, Pretty cool feature actually, the AR cursor. So you no longer have to use the 5D button on the top of the goggles to, to do all the selecting. You can use this here. Um, we got record button, enhanced display. Okay, it's like a HDR, kind of like an HDR feature. Pretty cool. Uh, we got head tracking, share live view and mobile device, easy acro. Goggles, de oh, goggles defog, that is very cool. I like that they got that feature right there because I know I've been having to, to go in the settings and turn them the goggles defog on. I wish, I really wish it would come on automatically, but it doesn't. But we're gonna, we're gonna get to it here. All right, let me just... All right, you double tap the, the red, uh, the orange button to get the motors going, then you... You joystick up to take off. And uh, okay, so you can look up and down without pulling the trigger, but you cannot look side to side. All right, so we're gonna pull the trigger here and get going. I noticed the trigger has two stages. When you engage the, fir uh, the first stage, you can, you can look side to side, but it will not take off until you uh, fully depress the trigger. So we're in normal mode here with the motion controller three, just putting around the field. It's actually pretty intuitive. It took me uh, took me by surprise the, the first video I made. It's very uh, very different from the sticks, but it's it's actually pretty cool. And uh, I see there's a circle around the the uh, the, joy, uh, the crosshairs there. And my guess is that is that represents the diameter of the drone. So if you're hitting a gap, I'm guessing if that circle will fit through the gap, that means the drone will. So we'll see. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I tell you, it comes with a with a strap. The Motion Controller 3 comes with a strap, and I highly recommend you use that strap because. You can, it, it, DJI plastic is pretty good quality, but if you drop this thing, it feels very light. And I, I, there's a lot of switches on it and it just probably, it probably wouldn't be good. So use that strap they sent with it. All right, we're gonna stop here and put it in the sport mode. I'll tell you, it's got a little bit of punch in sport mode. Oh yeah, I could get used to this.
tell you this, this motion controller is actually pretty fun. It doesn't go quite as fast as manual mode, but it's pretty intuitive. I'm not as good as old Hot Rod with this thing, boy. I tell you, man, Hot Rod really, he really rips around with this uh, motion controller. But I guess he's been using it since he got the Avada One. This is, this is my second flight with the motion controller. Uh, but I tell you, Rod, watch out, buddy. I'm coming for you. I plan on going to the the 2025 South Florida drone meetup. So practice up, man. We're going, we're going to throw down. Got a pretty good bank angle on this thing. Got to be careful under uh, the trees and such with this, when it goes into return to home, cause it will rise straight up to your, to your preset altitude. So Make sure you, you gotta be quick on that uh, return to home button to stop that. But uh, yeah, guys, I think I'm doing much better with it. Let's put it back in the, to normal mode and bring it on in. I don't plan on using this thing a whole lot, but I will get it out every once in a while and practice with it. I like, okay. I like how you can push forward on the on the trigger to go backwards. And the joystick is a nice feature where you can raise and lower it in place. All right. All right, we got 18% on the battery. We're gonna set it down. All right, guys. Well, that was my f second flight with the motion controller three. I did much better than I did the first time. I'm starting to get a hang of the controls. So I really want to give the wanker a fair shake. So I'm gonna come out every once in a while and practice up with it. But look out, Hot Rod. I'm coming for you, buddy. All right. I'll see you guys in the next one. I appreciate you watching.